to Luca here. All right, today I'm gonna to be testing a new paint in a straight pour to see if it sells. We have Modern Masters Metallic Paint Collection. Look at that color, can you see that? It is absolutely beautiful. I have a feeling, I did a, one of my test swatches and I, I do have a feeling that it will sell, we'll see. It dried with a matte finish. It says satin finish, but as we know, it can say satin and be matte. The satin enamel, the DecoArt satin enamel is very, very matte in finish. So the colors I'm using are from my, uh, Go make some art, fluid art inspiration cards. And I'm using this bottom here, the three colors in the middle and added black. You can take just portions of it. You don't need to use all five colors. In fact, that's not always recommended. You can, just gotta be careful not to uh, overdo it. But all of these colors are meant to go together just part of the palette, the whole palette. And you can see I have eight color palettes, the bonus card with a five palettes on each card. So that's 40 palettes in total. And then there's 42, you can see that glare off there. There's 42 techniques also each with their palette. Each technique is associated with a video so you can learn how to do it. And I've been getting some great feedback and I'm loving the creativity that I'm hearing and seeing. Some folks said that they teach pouring classes and they give the palettes to their students to choose colors. Someone else uses the palettes for beading and coming up with color combinations. So that's very cool. You can find those at my website, ginadeluca.net. All right, the colors I'm using besides that gorgeous blue, I have Mars Black. That's a, uh, oh, there we go, Liquitex Basics, Mars Black. This lovely pale, purple slash blue. It's the uh, Brilliant Purple in Basics with, I mean, the tiniest bit of phthalo blue. Just a, a, not even a pea size. Changes that color a lot. And uh, there is some white mixed in here also, titanium white. The gold is a mix of Artist Loft Old Gold and the Deco Art Metallics in 24 karat gold. These paints are mixed one part paint, two parts flow draw, and then they are thinned with my 90% water, 10% flow draw mixture. You can see I use a nylon to strain the flow trawl to get those little weird flow trawl bits out. This is what I keep my flow trawl, the straight flow trawl in, and I do the same for that. Strain your lumps as you pour, saves you a ton of time with having to strain it ahead of time. Uh, as you can see, there was paint on this canvas. Um, twice. I've scraped this twice. Third time's a charm, or will it be deemed a cursed canvas? We'll find out. I do think some canvases are cursed. I'm just telling you. I've had it happen. The first thing I'm gonna do is put some of my base color in my cup. I should show you what consistency we're working with here. It makes a small mound and then disappears. It 
does not hold the mound for very long. It doesn't sink. That's the consistency that we're going with here. I always tend to go slightly thicker in a straight pour when I'm using metallics because there is mica in the metallics and it makes it appear thicker than it is. I mean, it is thick, but you need them to be the same consistency. You don't want one paint to be much thinner because then it'll run over top of the thicker paints as you're tilting. Okay, so I put about uh, slightly under two ounces in there. I'm going to lay down my base coat. going to do the bluish purple first. Now the dark blue, gosh, this color is so pretty. I forgot to tell you the name of this color. I have to look. Venetian blue, it's called. They actually had um, a bunch of really, really pretty metallics. I got these at Michael's. They're in the acrylic section, but they are not marked acrylic. They are water-based. So I'm just assuming this is going to work. Guess we'll see. And now for the gold. Okay, well, these metallics are sitting on top, which is kind of unusual. I might actually just let these sit for a minute and see if they sink. Okay, it's not really sinking, so let's just go for it. It'll still be pretty. All right, let's stretch this out and see what happens.
I'm going to bring your paint back to center for changing directions and you can see where the weight of your paint is. That'll be where it's moving the fastest. Looks like I'm going to be losing most of my gold. Schmutz alert. does seem like this blue wants to sell I think because I used it with another cell maker maybe they were competing but there is some blue cells popping up here and gold cells popping up on the other side All right, I'm going to let this sit and see what happens. I see some gold trying to poke through. I see some blue trying to poke through. All right, back in a few. Okay, here it is. It's not completely dry, but it's mostly dry. There's just a little wet spot there in the center. Uh, you can see the gold. It's beautiful, as always. That 24 karat gold, even when you mix it with another gold, is still very powerful. That blue is gorgeous. That is not showing up nearly as vibrant on the camera as it is in person. I'm not crazy about the freckles with the tiny... I mean, they appear like uh, white cells, but it's not in person, obviously. It's that pale purple blue. But I was thinking about my straight pours, and I don't know that I've ever done a straight pour with black as my background color where I had a great deal of success. So, I'm going to do this again with a background color that I know works well. And we will see what happens. But I still believe that this metallic blue paint 
You can see it was trying to do it here. The glare is terrible. It was trying to do it there. But uh, I am going to try this again with a background that has proven itself to work well in a straight pour. You can see the skins that I got from that. Always using up the paint however I can. But that is it for this one. Please like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. Do check out the description box below. They look like black eyed peas. Some of those with the black dots in the center. Check out the description box below for links to my fluid art inspiration cards, which you can find at my website, ginadeluca.net. The links are in the description box. That is also where you can find my music and my art for sale. My uh, PayPal tip jar, you can find the link in the description box for that as well. If you'd like to help me stay stocked up in supplies to keep bringing you the groovy experiment, that's greatly appreciated. Another way that you can help support this channel is by using the Amazon link provided in the description box. Anything that you purchase off the entire site of Amazon, if you use that link, I will receive a small commission of at no additional cost to you. And certainly, not least, but last, is our group on Facebook, Go Make Some Art. Join us there, post your masterpieces, ask your questions, get some inspiration, meet some groovy artists from all over the world. And that is gonna be it for today. I hope you all enjoyed. Hope you learned something. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.